Hey, how you doing? It's Greg Baker here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to calibrate your monitor using the X-Rite i1 Profiler software. All right, so here we are looking at the software. And I'm going to walk you through step-by-step -step how to calibrate your monitor using the X-Rite i1 Profiler and the i1 Display Pro. So the first thing we're going to do here is come down here where it says Advanced. Make sure you're on the Advanced option right there. And then you see your default display device. It's the i1 Display is chosen. Now we're going to go over to the upper left and click on Profiling. Now you can see here, by default, it knows that this is a GB LED. So I'm doing this on a 5K iMac. I just want to show you their site. There's some documentation here, Technology Type for Apple Displays. That's on the X-Rite website. If you're not sure what type of display you have, I would contact X-Rite. Although by default, it did detect the right display right here, iMac. GB LED. That's for 2015 5K IMAX and beyond. Now the white point, that should be set at D65. You see you have some different options here. So D50, D55, that's more for printing, but for photography and online video, D65 is the proper white point setting. So you can see we have our luminance setting. 120 is the proper setting for desktop or the iMac. If you're using a MacBook Pro 100, try that setting there. I'm going to choose 120. Now for my gamma, I'm just going to leave that standard default at 2.20. And my contrast ratio, I'm going to use native. Now, if you were in a room with light glare on your computer, you could measure and adjust for that flare, as well as you could measure for your ambient light smart control. I have those unchecked. If you want to check those, you can, and it'll walk you through that. So I'm going to go to next. And then we have use defaults. I'm just going to go with the default settings right here. And then I'm going to click next again. And then you see we have some different choices for patches. I'm going to go with the large. Now I've read some things on the web that said people didn't notice a difference between small, medium, and large. I don't know if that's totally accurate. I would think they wouldn't include a small, medium, and large patch setting if there wasn't a difference. So if you want the best color reproduction, choose large. It'll take a little bit longer, but still not that long. So I'm choosing the large patch setting. Now I'm going to click next. And then there's one more checkbox here. We're going to click automatic display control. Instead of adjusting this manually, we're going to let it happen automatically. And then the next step is to click on start measurement. And then you want to make sure that you have your i1 display pro centered on your monitor and then I'll just suggest that. I'm just going to make an adjustment to mine here. And I have it centered and it's fitting flush. And I'm going to say OK with the software. I'm going to click on Next and start the profile. Now this will take probably about anywhere from 5 to 8 minutes. So what I'll do is I'll speed this up till we get to the end of the calibration sequence. All right, so the patches are done. I'm going to click on Next right here. And you see we get to this screen right here. Now what I'll do here, we've already done our measurement, so I'm going to click Next. Now we have a file name right here. I'm just going to click on iMac. I usually put the date, and then what I do is I choose three weeks, so you can set a reminder. I'll show you that in a second. One thing I forgot to mention is you should warm up your monitor for at least 30 minutes, as well as have your i1 Display Pro plugged into your computer for 30 minutes as well. I'm just going to put today's date. I think it's uh, May 11th, so I'm just going to say... May 11, and I'll put the year 2018. You can call that whatever you want. I think I hit 19, I'm in the future. And click here, user level, and then profile reminder. So they say about four weeks. I'm going to set mine to three weeks. So in about three weeks, I'll get a reminder to do this calibration again. Now, one other thing too I want to mention is you can use the i1 Pro to also calibrate your HD TV or your 4K TV. I have a video about that. I'll have a link pop up. I'll also put a link below in the description if you want to learn how to calibrate your HD TV or your 4K TV using the i1 Display Pro. All right, so that's that there. I'm just going to click on Create and Save Profile. So I've named it, and I'm saving it. And then I'm just going to say OK here. So if you wanted to, you could have your ambient light and all that monitoring going on. I'm not going to monitor that. And then it just shows you a little graph right here. Now we can click on compare profile right here and then you could compare your profile if you want it to something before. Now you'll probably notice a bigger difference if you've never calibrated your monitor before. If you've calibrated it before you probably won't see a big difference 
uh, with this comparison right here. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions about this process, just leave them in the comments section below. Hey, how you doing? It's Fred Vector here, and I put together some free Photoshop retouching actions, and you can access them in the description box just below this video.